see uh, who is an engineer or who who is an mba graduate basically he's a problem solver he's a problem solver right i don't want an engineer to come and talk to me about problems i want him to come and talk to me about solution you want to take back something very effective from this session please go back and tell your students that the world has made you into an engineer for for solving problems the world has not made you an engineer to come to a teacher like me with your problems you are a, you need to come out with solutions because you have two students in your class x and y x always comes to you, comes to you with problems y always comes to you with problems and solutions you tell me whom will you appreciate more between x and y whom will you appreciate more between x and y anyone definitely the why right definitely the why now this problem is not just related to academics i understand it is not just related to academics it could be anything sir i am not able to do my uh, assignments because of internet problem then you should tell him that see when you come to me and say that you have an internet problem you should come out and tell me the solution also that is where i improve you know, that is where as a teacher you are improving the attitude of the student understand that unless and until we drive our students into solution makers we are never going to become a great teacher understand so the whole idea of genius hour is to ensure that we expose our students to maximum number of problems and find the solution through a methodical methodical sort of an approach so how do we how do we identify uh, the, the the problem so now if you want to probably identify the problem so servant leadership is something that i would definitely want all of you to go back and uh, read on, on google servant leadership is where the leader is selflessly working to support his or her people and the community all right so how do you identify the problem very simple right connect real time problems in an informal setting to classroom learning so if you have a local body or a panchayat or a village officer whoever is there in your district or your region talk to those people and tell them that sir i have a team of people and if you have any real time problem if you if you have any real time problem you please come to us as a teacher as a group of engineers we should be able to you know come out with a solution come out with the solution and servant leadership is what you need to drive down with your students probably you know after after this fdp session because that is how you cultivate great attitude let these elephants go out and empathize with people let them know what exactly are the real problems let them know why they are doing engineering let them know what exactly the subject knowledge could be used for let these mon monkeys add value to these people with their competency and their ability so see you you cannot teach engineering in classrooms you cannot teach engineering in labs you cannot teach engineering in conferences you cannot teach engineering in review papers it is not possible it is not possible because every invention in this world has come from the fringe not from peer reviewing papers uh, that's what i i have i've understood because if you sit down and do research you are only going to talk about how to get something better to the next level you are never going to come out with something new you are never going to come out with something new right see you you take somebody like henry ford you know what henry ford said i never believed in market research because if i had gone and asked people what do you want they would have said we need a faster horse we need a faster horse to travel nobody would have told me i need a car nobody would have told me i need a car people would have told me i need a faster horse how can i make my horse run faster that is what people would have asked me for so the invention of car it came from the fringe it didn't come from the research of course research is important because if you want to have incremental growth in engineering you need to have research you need to have peer reviewing Uh, methodologies everything is important but if you want inventions if you want problem solving you need to go to the fringe you need to go out in the field you need to get exposed to real time problems so it cannot be taught in classrooms it cannot be taught in conferences it cannot cannot be taught in project presentations please understand that so are you looking out for a problem to solve are you looking out for a problem to solve in 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 your genius hour connect with your local bodies and your panchayat and your village and and let me just show you this that there was this one particular campus in kerala who was able to do this they they literally did this i'll i'll show you the video what exactly a, a faculty and a group of students uh, did